Hello Rubies. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for 370 plus subscribers. Like how? I can't even explain how thankful I am. To the new people who just joined this loving community, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I also apologize for not posting last Saturday. I was busy and couldn't finish editing in time. Anyways. For today's video I will be talking about some things stands do or say that I hate. I have a lot more but I didn't want this video to be long, so comment down below if you want a part 2. Let's get started. 1. When people say Blackpink still lacks content. I believe that Blackpink is doing well this year. We got Rosé solo and the next few months we will get new things like a movie, Lisa solo, maybe an OT4 comeback or album. Jenny and Rosie duet, Jesus drama Snowdrop and maybe even Jesus solo this year. I know they don't have a lot of content, compared to other K-pop groups, but still they are doing a lot this year and I don't think they are lacking content. We still have half of the year left so, we will just have to wait and see what surprises they have for us. The new CEO is really doing a lot better with Blackpink. So, I think now Blackpink is going to do a lot more compared to the past year since YG is not the CEO anymore. 2. When armies say I miss the old BTS and they just want a Grammy. If you don't know BTS have released 3 English songs. Dynamite, Butter and Permission to Dance. Because of that some armies are talking about how they miss the old BTS. The BTS that released meaningful and Korean songs. Personally, PTD wasn't my cup of tea. I don't hate it but I wouldn't listen to it on a daily basis. But BTS is still BTS. You as an army don't have to have love for everything the boys put out for us. We as armies, didn't sign a contract with BTS or big hit to vibe with everything BTS does. Guys, it's totally fine if you dislike their English or any other songs. I don't understand the hate they get with their English songs. The BTS members put a lot of effort into their music. You could also see how happy they were about the release while promoting. They seem proud of what they have come up with and looked excited to share it with us. Plus the boys seem to improve a lot in their English pronunciation after each comeback. Also some people believe the only reason BTS is releasing English songs is for a Grammy. Since Dynamite did get nominated for one. If they wanted a Grammy then why are they putting so much time and effort into releasing upbeat songs that motivates anyone. BTS of course do want to win a Grammy with their English releases. But saying that BTS calculated everything and just released meaningless lyrics because all they want is a Grammy. It's just stupid. Yes, they do not have meaningful lyrics for their English songs like they do for their Korean. And they are different from what BTS usually puts out but, that doesn't justify the hate BTS get, when the boys are just trying something new and different. It's totally fine for them to explore new things. Plus it can be hard to always release songs with such deep lyrics. So BTS trying something fun is alright. The world isn't going to end. I don't know why some people are acting like BTS's old songs have deleted themselves from human history. Just bop to those and stop hating on them. BTS is still BTS and releasing 3 English songs doesn't mean they will be doing the same for the rest of their life. 3. Making fun of K-pop idols English. I hate when some people make fun of some K-pop idols English or mock their accent. It's not funny. I have seen a lot of people mock Jesus' accent. It doesn't apply to stans who think their English is cute. I have been seeing a lot of BTS stans talking about how cute Jungkook's English is, without mocking it or making fun of him. Which is okay. But when people make fun of these idols, it is disrespectful since they work so hard to learn a language that they are not familiar with. 4. Babying idols. Almost half of these idols that you think are a baby and small, are grown up adults and they don't need to be babied by you. One example that comes to my mind is Jungkook's tattoos. When BTS Jungkook got tattoos, some people made posts about how they want the cute Jungkook back. Like the last time I checked he was 23. First of all he is a grown man, and he can do anything he likes. Jungkook wanting to do something that you dislike, it's not his problem. You guys don't know each other personally and you have no control over what he does. Let the boy live. And why the f is he losing fans for this? If you unstand Jungkook for his tattoos, were you even an army? I am serious if people are unstanding K-pop idols for normal things like dating, 
tattoos and even piercings. I will move to Mars and go live with aliens instead. 5. You are not considered a real fan if you don't stream X Group's MV. Streaming is not mandatory. There are multiple ways that you can support your fav idol other than streaming. For example buying albums, concert tickets etc. I really don't stream everything my favorite artist put out. As a pop stan you don't have to sacrifice your time just to stream. I don't get why some stans think if you don't stream you are not a loyal fan. If you don't stream don't feel bad because streaming is not as important as pop stans make it seem like. 6. Hating someone's music taste if their alts are BTS, Blackpink, Twice or EXO. This one makes me laugh because the same people that say everyone can't like the same music or taste is subjective, are the same people who look down on people who would support and like bigger groups, because they believe they don't have a unique taste. Since many people love these big groups music, some stands feel as if they are superior because they like smaller groups music better because they have different taste than most people. Just explain to me how does that make you any better, than any other Blackpink, BTS, TWICE or EXO stands. Well this is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant. Don't forget to tell me if you want a part 2. Bye. Bitch,